Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a man by the name of Thomas L. Jennings. And Thomas L. Jennings was an African-American tradesman, abolitionist, entrepreneur, and inventor from New York City who operated and owned a tailoring business. He became active in civil rights. He was also an activist as well. And he was a leader in that in his in um, his community, the African American community, um, in in the town that he was from. In uh, 1831, he was selected as assistant secretary to the first annual convention for the people of color in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which met in June of 1831. He helped arrange a legal defense for his daughter Elizabeth Jennings in 1854, when she challenged a private streetcar company's segregation of seating and was arrested. She was defended by uh, Chester A. Arthur, um, a young Chester A. Arthur who became the President of the United States later on, and they won their case um, the, in 1832. Now, just a little background information on him. He was born in 1791, and he was born free to a uh, free African-American family in New York City. As a youth, he learned a trade as a tailor, and he built the business and got married uh, to his wife Elizabeth, who was born in 1798 in Delaware, into slavery. She died in 1873. Now, the interesting, the interesting thing is that under New York's gradual abolition law of 1799, his wife Elizabeth was converted to the status of an indentured servant and was not eligible for full emancipation until 1827. Hmm. Um... Uh, Children born to slave mothers before 1827 were considered to be born free, but were required to serve apprenticeships in, to the mother's masters until they reached their mid to late 20s. That's an interesting law. And not one that's well known by a lot of people, but that's an interesting law um, in New York during that time. They had three children, Matilda, Elizabeth, and James uh, Jennings. We uh, talk a little bit more about Elizabeth Jennings in a little while in her uh, case about the streetcar. Um, she was kind of, she, she, she was Rosa Parks before Rosa Parks were, was even born. Um, but as mentioned, uh, Thomas Jennings built the business as a tailor, and he was well respected in the community. He spent his early earnings on legal fees to purchase his wife and some of his children out of slavery. Um, their daughter, Elizabeth, became a school, a school teacher and was a church organist. And uh, Thomas Jennings also supported the abolitionist movement and became active in working for the civil rights of free African Americans. He was active on other issues uh, related to immigration, in opposing the colonization in Africa, and um, in supporting expansion of suffrage for African American men. Um, as we mentioned earlier, he was a leader in the cause for abolitionism and, and uh, African American civil rights, especially when his daughter Elizabeth was forcibly removed from a whites only streetcar from, from a whites only streetcar in New York City. He organized a movement against racial segregation and public transit in the city and uh, the services provided by private companies that upheld the segregation law. Um, Elizabeth won her case in 1855 and uh, as we mentioned with the help of Chester A. Arthur who became uh, one of the presidents of the United States. Uh, Thomas Jennings was uh, created the Legal Rights Association in 1855 along with James McCune Smith and Reverend James W.C. Pennington, um, and which was a pioneering minority rights organization, kind of like the precursor to other organizations uh, catered to African Americans that came later. Uh, its members organized additional challenges to discrimination and segregation and gained legal representation to take cases to court. Um, a decade after Elizabeth Jennings won her case, New York streetcar companies stopped practicing segregation. So even after she won her case, it still took them 10 years to stop the practice of segregation. But Thomas L. Jennings, you know, as mentioned, an ab abolitionist, an activist, an entrepreneur, and an, an inventor because he invented a process for dry cleaning, um, a chemical process for dry cleaning. Uh, we all know dry cleaning today, and uh, we all use dry cleaning. So, but Thomas L. Jennings had actually has a, pa a patent 
for a dry cleaning process that he got patented in the 1800s. So he was a man with many faces, very accomplished, and so we highlight him here on Everyday Black History because of his contribution to black history and black culture for all those faces that he had, abolitionist, activist, entrepreneur, and inventor. So Thomas L. Jennings, we uh, thank you for your contribution to black history and black culture, and we salute you. Now that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Um, as I say all the time, please continue to support us. Check out the podcast, Everyday Black History. You can find it on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and others. Check, out, check us out on Instagram, Everyday Black History. And please continue to support. And stay tuned for the next episode.